Hey everyone and welcome back to Cruising Through Life with Ken Ken. It's your girl Ken. Um, I know some of you are probably looking at me a little crazy, wondering why I am holding Angel from Lilo and Stitch in my hands in the beginning of this video. Well, I have just returned from Florida. Now, me and my family went to Disney World, but me and my brother were the only ones that went into the park. It felt amazing to be back in Disney. I've missed it so much. Anyone who knows me knows I'm a huge Disney fan. I have my ears displayed on my wall. I have my Disney mask displayed right next to my face. I just love Disney. <laughs> so I have like a ton of plush toys and I decided I was going to start getting the, her, Miss Angel here. I love her. She is pretty and pink. She's super, super soft. Um, I think she cost me about 20 bucks. 20 to $25 but with that being said this video is about Disney if you haven't caught that already um, I will be talking about things that are different I'll also be showcasing events that me and my brother did um, I won't be putting whole video clips in of that I've decided I'm gonna make a separate video about being in Disney Hollywood Studios so that it'd be a whole video in itself if you want to see exactly what me and my brother did you can catch them in those videos I decided that I'm also going to do a tea time video um, tea time is just where I'll come on and I'll talk about things that are just on my mind we'll have topics I might have a trending video viral posts etc etc that we will be talking about I'm thinking I'm gonna do that like once a week so um, I'll probably set the release date on that to be every Sunday so every Sunday I will have a video coming out about tea time any viral posts um, any big news that's in the headlines um, I'll talk about on my video so let's get started to start this video off I do want to say that my family and I have taken the necessary precautions um, about social distancing and sanitizing constantly while we left town um, I know that you know we're supposed to do a two-week quarantine however I did not um, I don't have any symptoms or anything like that I feel perfectly fine um, although I have been taking precautions on my own to kind of limit my interactions with people with that being said so um we left at about five in the morning on august 9th my dad went and parked the car we waited for him before going through tsa um when we went through tsa we went straight to the gate um i'm not a morning person never been a morning person will never be a morning person there were a lot of crying babies on the flight I've never been one for loud babies on airplanes because it is a tight and enclosed space. Um, so screaming children plus music, it's just not great. When we landed, you know, we, we got lost. Let me put it that way. We got lost looking for our rental car. Now, I understand with COVID going on, things are a little crazy. I understand that I've dealt with it I work in retail so I know I understand well we went all the way down to the ground level where the kiosks so to speak are for our rental car and then we went out to the garage where the rental car was looking for somebody who worked for this rental car company I'm not gonna give any names because I really don't care but I'm not trying to start anything so we went to try to find the car and we went back and forth like maybe two or three times it felt like forever i felt like we were in the airport a lot longer than we should have been when we finally found uh where we we're supposed to go to get the information for our car and whatnot it was a long line so we had to wait and yours surely had to take pictures i took pictures this entire trip just so you know i love taking pictures i cannot help myself and now that i have a new phone it just makes my life a little bit simpler <laughs> after we went to get the car we went to Publix. Publix, oh my gosh i lived in atlanta for 15 years and Publix was our go-to 
grocery store. I love that grocery store so much. They have the best chicken tenders I've ever tasted. We went to um, Publix, we got lunch and got uh, breakfast things and little lunch snacks that we could have in the room. Which is the smartest thing to do when you're going to Disney World with more than just two people. Because Disney taxes a lot and it's it can seem like it's you're paying more than what you should be for food. For certain things it's okay but not for everything. We got our groceries and then we went to our hotel. And I was really excited about this shirt because we were staying at the Riviera. I love this hotel. It is amazing. It's beautiful. There are so many pretty things to look at. And you have such an amazing view of the pool area of Caribbean Beach. You just have, and then you have like the beautiful view of the gondolas, which is a little skyliner that they installed about a year or two ago. So it's very, very beautiful. Um, it slept for, um, there was a pull out um, bed from the wall. Um, it was pretty cool. Um, there was also another bed directly beneath the TV that folded into the wall. So it looks like it's just a one bedroom, but there's plenty more space and it can sleep up to five people. You know, we went to Disney Springs, did a little shopping. I ended up purchasing four pairs of ears. I have an ear addiction. I want my entire wall full of ears. Um, I have seen a lot that I also want to get, but those are coming um, in due time because <laughs> ears are expensive but it's worth it because they're gorgeous so then Monday my little brother and I went into Disney Hollywood Studios we were really excited about going into Hollywood Studios I was personally excited because Disney has added so many new things to Disney Hollywood Studios that it would be my first time experiencing it so I was excited to experience it alone but I was also ex excited to experience it with my baby brother so we rode the rock and roller coaster uh, the Tower of Terror. We rode Smuggler's Run, um, which is a Star Wars attraction. We also rode. We also rode the Rise of the Resistance. Loved that ride. It was amazing. In the video I do exclusively just for the attractions at Disney Hollywood Studios, you will see. Um, the process that you have to go through in order to get on to that attraction. So if you are interested in going to Disney Hollywood Studios, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you watch that video because it is going to give a lot of information that is very crucial to your experience on that attraction. Went over to Toy Story, we did Toy Story Mania, we did the spinning saucers. We rode the Slinky Dog Dash. Again, I have another video about my personal experience on that ride. We rode Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Loved that ride. We rode it three times. I loved it every single time. Um, the song is very, very catchy. We ate, did a little shopping, but we mostly waited in lines or was walking to different attractions. There's not that many attractions in Disney Hollywood Studios, but we hit everything that we could. But everything that we could ride, we pretty much did. Music. Smuggler's Run broke down on us actually and it was pretty interesting um so we were going through the entire ride and it gets to this part where it's supposed to be towards the ending but we didn't get to the ending um but it stopped on us and the attendant opened the door and he was like hmm this is weird i've never seen this before um he then called down to the front entrance of the attraction where the line goes in at, 
called them and let them know that we were coming back around so that we could get on it again so we wouldn't have to wait in line because we had been like one of the first few guests to get on the ride when the park first opened. So they allowed us to go through the fast pass line because the ride broke down on us. So when we did complete the ride, it was absolutely amazing. <music> The ride was magnificent. I loved it. I think that when Disney was creating these rides, they made it exactly how it should have been made. If anybody was going to make this, the movies into an attraction, Disney nailed it. I felt like I was actually in the movie. I've never personally seen the Star Wars movies, so go ahead, shame me, whatever. Never seen them before, but the attractions made me feel like I had seen them, made me feel like I was a part of the movie, so I really, really did like that. The following day, we left Disney Riviera and went to Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Um, this is our first time staying here. We have always wanted to stay here. It has like more of that country rustic feel to it. So part of us did kind of feel at home. Very, very beautiful. We did have one incident when we got to our hotel. Um, I looked over on the side of the couch and had seen belongings of another family on the side of the couch. Um, wasn't really just a huge big deal but my mom was a little concerned about how well they had cleaned the room before allowing us in it um so when we voiced those concerns to the housing they sent up the manager and we were able to get a new room um which was just as magnificent wilderness lodge is definitely one of those resorts i would take my bridal party with me to this resort we'd get one of the cabinets on the water and we'd have a hot tub to ourselves, and we'd just have a great time. It's so spacious, it's beautiful. And when Disney does start to throw off fireworks again, you would be able to see the fireworks from this hotel. So it's definitely something that I would like to experience again. One thing that I did notice while we were in the parks was that there was hand sanitizer stations everywhere. They were in between the lines. Um, they were randomly dispersed all over the park. I loved that. Um, it was a little stuffy having to have the mask on our faces while we were riding attractions. It did kind of stink, but is it worth it if you're a huge Disney fan? I say yes. If you really need the vacation at Disney and you just have to go to Disney, wearing the mask won't seem that bad to you. I am very, very proud of how Disney handled this whole COVID situation. They are making sure that you're always wearing masks. They're always making sure that you're either able to wash your hands or use hand sanitizer. Um, the lines for the rides are social distanced. Um, I feel that Disney will be able to continue to make a profit because people are going to continue to come back knowing that they are taking such necessary precautions to be open for business. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video. Um, please stay on the lookout for the Slinky Dog Dash personal experience video as well as me taking on Disney Hollywood Studios with my baby brother. Um, you'll hear him comment in this video as well. I want to say thank you guys for staying so loyal to my channel. I love you all very, very much. Stay blessed and stay safe.